So here we are, and what is this? Where are we? Siberia? Kazakhstan? I'm not really quite sure. There's a port town here. Oh, we're in the Balkans! What the? I guess that's not a town, actually. It looks like a port or something. So there's wilderness and town. Well, what's in this wilderness? I'm just curious. No name even appeared for this location. I guess we can't talk to plants anymore, though, huh? Why am I, why am I here, you think? Why did I go here instead of... Oh, hey. That's always a nice treat. Yeah, these are just out somewhere in the mountains here. So, we've crossed the Karakum Desert and the Tibetan... Well, we've crossed, in order, the Tibetan Plateau, the Tan Shan Mountains, and the Karakum Desert. And now, we're, like, on the other side of the steppe. So we've crossed the steppe, too. Lore? Loiri? Well, all right. Some little Slavic town, I guess. Oh! Oh my god, you look like one of the little girls back from Krista! Oh man, you have no idea how that takes us back. I'm gonna heckle Lush Louie when he comes out. Lush Louie? Is this a bar? Oh yeah, Lush Louie. <laughs> if you're as hard up as me, you deserve a drink or two, follow? Yeah, okay. I don't doubt that you're on hard times, Louie. That's not a Slavic name, though. Oh, and they even have goldfish! Oh, gosh. Oh, man. Look at all the kegs of beer. Now, this is the kind of place... This is the kind of place that Ark would be right at home. Small village, communal living. Look, sis! It's white wind! No, it's not. So you got one of these little bird things that, like, some physicists are really interested in. <laughs> it's not White Wind. Who's White Wind? Are you guys, like, a tribe? Or do you arrange your... Like, how, what's your organization for living? Are you, are you tribal? Is this a tribe? Or is it, like, a government? Is there, like, a local government? I'm sorry. My brother made a silly mistake. White Wind is a thief. But he isn't an evil person. White Wind gives the poor like us the money he stole from the rich. I heard that White Wind was captured at the castle, so I'm worried. I see. Well, I'll help you there, my class comrades. I mean, he's just stealing the money that was already stolen from you. This is a shop, right? Gosh, you're all clones. Well, lucky for you, I might be a traveler, but I'm rich. You don't want any of that. Ooh. Ooh. Well, actually, I already have one of those. Ooh. Whoa. Oh, gosh, what do I go for first? I'll go for the mail. We're a bit pressed for money now, but I'll take it. Boing. Don't mind me diving into my box. People do that all the time, right? I mean, no one I've known so far has found it strange. But where is the... What we just bought? Here it is. So, we're gonna go around and mail, but we're never going to leave behind our... We're never gonna leave behind... That cape Ella made for us. What's this? A magic shop or something? Yeah. That's one thing that was not present in the old world, is magic users like you. Ray ring? These are definitely getting a little more... fancy. I'll take it, though. You know, we'll see what it does. And, uh... Oh, we're out of money. Okay, bye. Well... Not having a penny to our name, that's just life as usual. That's what we've been used to. 
Oh! You know, you look just like the Jewish fortune teller from our village. <laughs> All is in the stars. Let me read your fortune. Beware of dogs. A whistle for luck. What you seek is in the woods. Yeah, I don't know what to make of that either, Ark. Oh, they have a fountain. That's very pretty. Oh, and there's some foes are probably like the news, right? Your handful of literate villagers. Between you and me, the king here is a total tyrant. Why that king would make this proclamations beyond me. Room search or not, I wish they'd cut back on the festivities. We find it hard enough just getting by day to day. What a filthy wretch. You don't mean to marry the princess, do you? <laughs> Save your time. Wretch like you will only be humiliated. Well, I think that the uh, piece of scum here is you. White win the thief captured while breaking into castle. Yeah, what's this? If you can make the princess speak, you shall be wedded to her. Huh. King Henry the Thirteenth. That's a French name, and so is Louis. But we're in the Balkans, right? Or are we in France? Hello, little red riding head. Buy some flowers. I can't go home until I sell all of them. Make even a girl who doesn't talk or a penguin happy with flowers. Yeah, I'll take one. No, all right. I'll buy one. Thanks. But I have so much left, I can't go home yet. How about another one? I'll take one other one. Oh, all right, I'll take one. Thanks. But I have so much left, I can't go home yet. No more. One flower is plenty enough. Huh, that's all you're buying, cheapskate? I bought two? You're in no position to be upset with me. I mean, I get it, you're poor folks here, you know, you need what money you can get. What the heck? Norfest Forest? It's the forest north of here. You're not going there, are you? Don't go! I heard horrible ghosts appear in that forest. But the Jewish lady said what I wanted was in the forest. He came back like that from Norfest Forest. Everyone that goes to Norfest Forest comes out badly disturbed. Maybe the rumors of ghosts are really true. Thing is, you guys don't know what I have dealt with. There'll be nothing I haven't seen before. Where is this? It's scary. Mommy, help me! Oh god, he's trapped in like an illusion world. Well, that's not good at all. You know, I was thinking there weren't many people out and about, but I see there actually are a ton of people. Turbo, is that you? Or are you just another dog? Arf! 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 I'm gonna assume that's not Turbo. But if it is, I mean, they said that she left Turbo behind. It's not like her at all. Oh, yeah, this is this is France. They're all French names. You're Matti, eh? Painter, eh? Hi, do you come to buy one of my paintings? Oh, no. Sorry for getting in the way of the cat, but yeah, I'm not I'm not here to get your paintings. I've dealt with some painters before. You know, I like painters. This is you're gonna yes, yeah, Lush Louis. I like the alliteration in the local alcoholic's name. In any case, I think we've looked around most of the town now. So this is the reign of of. Henri the 13th, huh? I guess I just think that's kind of... kind of odd, like... We didn't meet any Slavs? I'm Kynes. I am an economist, and I forecast the growth of towns. This town's economy is stunted by the king's rigid rule. There's no hope for growth without a major change in policies. This town's economic growth index is 0%. Okay. Well, well. Welcome to Bounty's Inn.
We need to get our guests some wine. We've also got exotic dancing and music for you. This service is one of the most expensive here. In total, it's one... One million gems. Please settle your tab now. I'm not paying. Get lost. You're out of your mind. I'm not paying. Hey, pal, you pulling my leg? Our pricing is very clear. If you can't pay, you can pay it off at the labor camp. Huh? I just listened in, Bounty. Keeping your greedy hands dirty again. Don't you recall my warning? Clean up your act or pay with your life? Uh, not true. Th this is one of our special services. It's a new promotion to scare the guest, then provide services free. Interesting. I will advertise this promotion to the village folk. Lady Fida! Please, uh... Oh, wait, it's a woman! So that is, it's the knight's a woman then! I couldn't tell! Lady Fida, please, uh... Please do! Thank you! <laughs> Sorry about that. Not everyone here is that low. Don't think badly of us. Nod. I get this feeling I've met you before. If you plan to become the groom, you'll see the princess tomorrow. Man, you're making a lot of assumptions, you know? Who says I'm gonna be the groom? Yeah! You think we're not gonna take advantage of this great deal? Yo, it's very nice of you, sir. Okay, I'm sorry. You can stay as long as you want for free. Damn. I sure don't want to lose my head to Lady Fida. <laughs> That's what you get, you skin flint and con man scumbag. I mean, look, you have enough money to afford this place, huh? Anyway, I'm a little more sympathetic for you, but that's because I don't know of your nature of your relationship to me. That lady with a sword, she's Lady Fida who guards the princess. A lady, but a fantastic swordsman. She's my heroine. So I guess I still don't really know, like... Are you just his daughter? Are you like his wife? Are you like a woman who works for him? Are you like a prostitute? Like what's going on here? Well, in any case, I'm still more sympathetic for you because you're not the one who like tried to con me. I do like the looks of this though. Let me just sign in. Hello, miss. What is it? You staying? Then use the room on the right. If you make a racket at night, out you go. Oh, what's in the room on the left? Aww. Well, anyway, before I, uh, you know, I think I will spend the night here because it's going to be free. And don't think I'm going to forget. Oh, hey, it's you again. Now I make medicine. My sleeping potion is popular among insomniacs. I came to Mush Woods looking for ingredients, but found no mushrooms. This season, you'd expect even one to be growing. I went mushrooming with Grandma before. Anyway. I love this. This is great. This is the best inn in the world. And now they're going to be bankrupt. Hello, my young economist. Someday, you're going to be right, and the capitalist economic system that you endorse will end up creating an enormous amount of wealth and infrastructure. But in the long run, it's going to lead to the degradation of society. Anyway, let's go. Well, I mean, you know, up to a point. Like, it'll sort of fall apart after a point. Hey, can I have some more booze? I have plenty of drinks, but the king takes it all. I want to make drinks everyone can enjoy. I can't do that now. Yeah, I get it. The king, re this, the king really is stifling the growth of 
you know, this proto-bourgeois. But don't worry. You know, capitalism has its problems, but it's a hell of a lot better than feudalism. So, I'll clean things up for you. That's how I seem to go everywhere else. Well, what is it? Beggars in the trade call it the back door. Well, how do you know that I don't want to wear a skirt, huh? I mean, look at him. He's practically, I mean, they're like really baggy trousers. They're almost a skirt. Madame Babilo's boutique is only for the royalty, not the masses. You will never have the occasion to wear our creations. Well, I know who's gonna get their head cut off in the revolution. <gasps> oh gosh, you guys look just like the sewing ladies back at home. If only Ella were here. Madame Papilo designs clothing for the king and princess herself. Is what she claims, but really her seamstresses do all the work. Merrily, the girl embroidering dialogue... Wait. Oh, Mer... Merrily is her name? Merrily, the girl embroidering diagonally in the front. She's brilliant. I don't think the clothes she makes will lose to Madame Papilo's clothes. Oh, Madame Papilo. I see. So this is actually like an exploration of like economic development? Is that what I'm getting? We get to weave and embroider magnificent cloths, but we feel empty. I want to make clothes not for a small number of the rich, but clothes everyone can enjoy wearing. Amen, sister. So you're the genius, huh? Madame is hysterical and nasty, but she pays well. I put up with her. Well, don't worry. Someday you won't have to, because she'll be dead. And so will you. Because we all die. So I see the rich people live in this uh, northern part of town. Hello, Jean. One day, there will come a time when the masses rule the country. For that coming age, I study night and day. Okay. Oh, you also have another one of those birds dunking into the water things. When I first saw the green tables, I was like, huh, do they have billiards? But in any case, so Jean is an academic type, eh? And what do we have here? My grandma used to be a servant to the queen a long time ago. She told us about the queen, but lately her stories are mixed up. Are you the grandma? You don't look very old. Do you wish to speak to mother? She may be hard to understand. Yeah, I will. Hello, grandma. It's a terrible thing he did. No pity, no mercy. Such a tragedy. It is better this way. Better to forget for continuing on. All those innocent people. No mercy. No mercy. It's a terrible thing he did. No pity. No mercy. Such a tragedy. It's better this way. Better to forget for continuing on. She talks in an odd way. She clearly saw something quite terrible in the past. She doesn't really know how to process it anymore, though. We ran right into that fence. Well... So, uh, I didn't expect we would be in Europe so quickly. This is where the artists live, right? Yeah, Mati. A lot of people in this town. Really, it's already bigger than Krista ever was. Still, though, I guess... I mean, I don't know, you think we're gonna try and... hang out with a princess or something? I mean, I guess so. That poor flower girl. Look, really, everyone here is poor. Who are you? A young entrepreneur? Boy, how would you like a freshly baked croissant? Just 10 gems each, no thanks. No, not right now. Sorry. Too bad. Come back when you're hungry. Problem is, we're like out of money. So it's a good thing we don't need any to stay here, huh? It bounties in. It's bounty full. 
I mean, I wish it was. The town really is quite pretty though, and right now they're not in the midst of a famine, so that's good. The king should consider investing in public granaries in, for the event of famine. Maybe we'll dream about Krista, the land that's now nothing but words in our journal. No, you're a nice place, Bounties, but, uh, I'll be on my way now. In fact, that whole village is a nice place. I mean, it obviously has some troubles. So you guys kept talking about, like, forests. What forest? Where's this mush forest, for example? I mean, no. I'm sorry, it's not here. Is it, like... Where is it? Yeah, the, if this is the Balkans... So this is Greece. Then yeah, that, we are in France. This is France. And here's Italy. Wait, it, that's not what Italy's shaped like. But this must be, because up there is Britain. Anyway, so, oh, this is the toll gates to get over into, like, Spain? Is that what I'm gathering? Probably shouldn't just walk in, though, right? Past this toll gate, there is a country called Spain. I heard the castle there has been infested by dreadful fiends. Oh. Spain's full of monsters, huh? Where do you think you're going? You cannot pass without a permit. Well, fine. You see, that's another one of the inefficiencies of the feudal system, is that, like, all the land is sort of... belongs to these, like, small number of nobility? There's no, like, international sort of agreements between people. There's not, like, the public transportation or public roads. So everyone who, everybody owns each section of road, and a lot of them just don't want people walking around. So anyway, let's go. I guess we have to... Might as well see what's going on with this princess, right? I'm on watch. I'm also on watch. Makes sense. Wow. This place is fan- Look how huge this place is. Folks are living in shacks while people are living here. Makes you sick, doesn't it? But we are able to just walk around freely. It's pretty weird. Is this like quarters? The servants' quarters? Why do the beds look like giant beetles? Oi. Want to hear about my heroics? No. The princess is from Stockholm, a village in Norfest Forest. I think the king had the village totally destroyed, though. Okay, wait a minute. The princess is from there? Is she adopted? That's, that's very odd. Maybe she was... Maybe the king married outside of royalty, and the queen's daughter... Like, the queen and her daughter came from Stockholm. But it'd be very odd, because that means the king... The king wouldn't accept a half-daughter, that wouldn't normally. Well, anyway, so... Whatever. You know, I'm just thinking about this, all the wine... Now there's a Bible. See, this is the stuff that would not have been in this if this were released in America. And thank God, almost, that it wasn't, because I'd hate if the English version the people remembered was that butchered. If I had any say, we wouldn't have that princess. She's like a toy doll. She can't say a word. And I hear she's pretty self-centered. Is that so? Well, I think that you're just being harsh on female royalty, because historically that's normally what happens, is that female rulers are subject to a degree of scrutiny that ma men are not. If you're talking to a prisoner, keep it short. I'm surprised you just let people in here. Yo, brother. Don't be so scared. Come over for a chat. I did, and if you, you want to chat? I may not look it, but I'm a famous thief. But don't get me wrong. I just take from those with too much and redistribute it fairly. I don't think I'm doing anything wrong, eh? What do you think? Oh, you're the white wind, huh? We gotta get you out of here. They might chop off your hands or something pretty soon. 
Yeah, nobody else much down here, huh? Nobody else much. Wow, this has gotten so much more interesting and engaging now that there are other humans again. I mean, I guess really what it is, it just feels so much less lonely. It's strange also that the dungeons are directly beneath the servants' quarters. They're actually, I guess they're like the guards' quarters, right? This place is huge! What's through here? The kitchen, huh? The king is bad to take advantage of, the princess is- Watch it if the king hears that! You'll be lucky if he just fires you. But no one knows what kind of person will become her groom. Do you think the king will really bequeath his crown to a stranger? I think there has to be something going on. I'm just being logical. Shush! Gossiping, eh, ladies? You're my style. Forget the princess, be mine. The princess isn't the king's daughter, she's just an orphan. Oh, so the king took in a random orphan? Why? There really must be something going on here. There's something wrong with this king. <laughs> oh no, I wasn't saying anything bad about the king. I didn't think you were. I won't steal any more food because he might chop off your hands. I make meals for everyone at the castle using this huge pot. These huge pots, you mean. So yeah, this is um, the kitchen we're in now. Dungeon and kitchen on opposite sides of the palace. I don't think they're gonna need this for their cooking, unless they grind it up to put into small quantities into their food. I mean, I have heard of people like serving meals with like tiny bits of gold in them, which is just silly. I mean, I think that'd be very bad for you, but then again, what do I know? You do, you do need some minerals. Maybe gold isn't a bad mineral for that. So now let's just go through all the doors from this side to the other. Oh no. We have to clear out the first story uh, before we go to the next story. Ark, for all his flaws, is a very thorough person. He looks everywhere. Is this the throne room? No, it's just a room with a big mirror. A big room with a big mirror. Can't drink that, though. I mean, I guess it's just tea. He's a wine kind of guy, you know? This is a guest room. You saw that sign? The interview stairs. What? The interview stairs? Is there a play- Are the stairs being conducted on an interview? Are the- I mean, is the interview being conducted on the stairs? You're a wise-looking gentleman. There's another Bible. Ark doesn't want to read it, though. What do you want? Oh, I just thought that this is a wonderful library. For a young man, you have taste. Thanks. Yeah, you know. Oh, that's an odd thing to be in the library. XX, a thief by the name of White Wind was captured by guards. It is thought he was after the golden statue in the king's room. That's not the sort of thing you'd have in a library, though. Still, though, I feel like Ark... If nothing else, you should appreciate the value of writing, because nothing on his journey, like his hat. Well, no, he, he writes. In his journal. That's how he connects to the past. How he keeps himself sane. Norfest Forest after the campaign. Norfest is now infested by roving packs of wolves. They appeared when the forest was abandoned after Storkholm's fall. In the past, the people of Storkholm used dog whistles to control dogs. What in the world is Storkholm? I get it's like a pun on Stork and Stockholm, but why? Well, I guess it'll make sense later, huh? The illness of Storkholm Mayor's daughter. The girl has suffered partial memory loss and total speech loss. No treatment has been effective. More time is needed. So if the king had everyone in the village killed, he had that village raised, 
why did he save the daughter and not just save her, but take her on, like adopt her? Did the king feel bad? Was it like Andrew Jackson adopting a Native American boy? Like, hey, I mean, I can't hate them because I didn't kill every one of them. Look at the gold. There is so much gold in this place. But there are people who are living, you know, in poverty. Where are you going? Ahead are the king and princess's rooms. Even if you went there, you won't be allowed in. Let's, let's, you want to bet? King! The likes of you aren't permitted past this point. Get lost. Well, whatever! Let's try this one. Oh, I see. I went into that, it's like that same hallway would have taken me to both of them. Well, I guess it is sort of pointless trying to do that, you know? Wait, where are we now? Okay, we're just on the other side of this big room. And this is like the central room, right? From the entrance? Yeah, it is. There must be- yeah, there's at least one other room over this way. I think it's odd that so often the staircases look like they're going down, but they're going up. More guys on watch, huh? Because past that point was just the other doorway up here, right? Are you here as a potential groom? I'm not interested. But I did want to see what the princess looked like. How dare you! If you have no business here, be gone now! Whatever! Your candidate too? Come this way for your orientation! What? Who's... who's talking? Is it you? Anything else? Maybe I will try out as a groom. But hey, is the princess cute? Well, of course. Uh, shut up! Before you are cold, stay in the waiting room at the right. At the right, huh? Or I go to this one. Fool, that's left! Can you not even tell left and right apart? So you're the uh, other contenders, huh? Oh, you look like that snobby guy who is in town. When it comes to strength, I will never lose. <laughs> yeah, it's a real appealing laugh. If I become the princess's groom, I can take it easy forever. Yeah. Only because so many other people will have to slave, though. Is the princess cute? I hope so. Hey boy, you want to become the princess's groom? Humph, cute. Boy, let me tell you something. You don't have the strength, the looks, or brains to be chosen. So? You're telling me that you're perfect? Something like that. Don't look angry, you look worse. I'm Royd. I'm not interested in the princess, but I do like her wealth. Now that I'm here, you don't stand a chance, boy. You, last to enter with the pointy gold hair. The interviews shall start with you. Enter the chamber. No one comments on how oddly he's dressed, do they? I mean, look at him. He's clearly not from around here. They probably think he'd dress like a tartar. This is the interview room. Like, look at this! Look how many people could- you could divide this room up into so many apartments. This is our royal highness, the king. Behave yourself. I see. Okay, well. You're all gonna tell me the same thing, right? Probably. It's because they've all been trained to, like, recite this stuff in a sort of rote way. First, Pay your respects to the king and Princess Ella. Princess Ella! Hold on, what? Ella? Princess Ella. She looks identical to the Ella I know. 
Well, her hair is a different color. Even her name's the same. What's going on? What? What? She ignored me! Damn! Totally unlike my Ella. So you did come. Princess Ella is to be pitied. Help her if you can. You don't need to tell me twice. Forget the mission for God or whatever, this is important. So, uh, you're the king, right? How, you, how do you do? Welcome. Speak to the butler for the rules. I'm counting on you for the princess and for the country. I already spoke to you, right? I will now explain the rules for choosing Princess Ella's groom. Princess Ella is of age, so a suitable groom is desired by the king. Tragically, a psychological problem has made the princess mute. The king is extremely saddened by this. The king decided that anyone who can cure her shall be her husband. Any person finding a cure shall return and report his findings. You will be granted a certain amount of time to find the cure. Understood? Okay, so I have to find the cause of the princess's muteness. No, you have to cure it. Correct. If you discover anything, report it at once. I'm counting on you, for the princess and for the country. I won't let you down, Ella. Also, that jerk! Screw that guy! Like, I knew he before is a shallow asshole, but this is something all altogether different. Hey, you losers! You're not gonna help her, I am! This isn't like a selfish thing, this is because I'm the- You guys don't realize who that is! Okay, that's Ella. Like, I grew up with her. We're best buds. She- I mean, I think. I mean, it's kind of confusing, because- she doesn't quite look identical, and this is hundreds of years later, but she has the same name, even? Like, what's going on? So first things first, we marry the princess. Second thing, we abolish the monarchy when we become the king, and we also free that thief. The White Wind. Okay, so, there is that one guy who was interested in making medicine, right? He needed mushrooms. He was staying at the Bounty Inn, huh? Let's see, where is that? You know, it's amazing. I didn't even care at all about the idea that, you know, we would marry a princess, but now that I know who it is... No, it's only a sleeping potion. So, where is Mush Woods, do you think? Wish I knew. Alright, where else can we get to, even? Is there some way to get through here? You'd think so. But just because something should be the case doesn't mean it is. You know, if only that was the case. If only that was the case, this entire quest would be unnecessary because things would already be the way they should be. But instead, certain unsavory characters, like... Dark Force. Wasn't it? Isn't it like Light Force and Dark Force? Oh! Alright. So where are we now? Uh, I'm not... I'm a little confused. So, that... we This is France, like, here, right? Then, I guess this is like, Belarusia? Yeah, I guess so. Where is this village? Huh? Oh, this is Mush. Yeah, the Russians have a long history of mushrooming. You'd think you'd be able to find one somewhere around here, right? Come on, mushrooms. Oh, here's a chest, at least. It's just a... Oh, it's a large ball. Well, it's about time. We have pretty much... We, well, we are a vegetarian at this point. We never eat anything but, like, tubers. Tubers, vegetables, apples. Oh, wait. Hey. There's a mushroom.
The issue is, by the time it's taken us to get here, it's probably already been a few weeks, because we're, like, in Northern Europe. Also, who lives here, though? Is this... No, this is Molly's. This isn't Storkholm. Molly is a man, huh? I know everything about this forest. People call me Molly. Mush Forest, in... to the east direction, has mushrooms for medicinal use. They're difficult to find as they hide in the shades of trees. Yeah, that's all he has to say, okay. I see, I should have stopped in here first. Well, I appreciate your help, Molly, but it was totally unneeded. I already got me my mushrooms. But I'm interested in the... Yeah, we're in... S Scandia? <laughs> really? Really? You couldn't spell Scandinavia right? This is where Storkholm is. No, this is North Forest. Yeah, this is where the village was, right? Where are you going? Not into this forest. Don't be foolish. Haven't you heard of the fiends in the forest? Yeah! I admire your spirit, but you might be smarter to stop. This forest is a maze. I hear many have entered, but never emerged. Unless, of course, you have a convenient item that shows the way. Listen, you're that guy who wanted to, uh, also wanted the princess's hand, right? You think I'd tell you if I had a convenient item? He's probably just trying to deter me from going. But in any case, I think I will at least make this, um, uh, drug. Or go to that druggist who is all the way back in... Back down south here. I mean, might as well, right? I think the answer to whatever, you know, to our mystery, though, is probably going to be somewhere in that forest. Also, what am I doing? I have flowers. I should have given them to, uh, Ella right away. Well, it can wait. Until I talk to the guy who wants to cure insomnia. I think that's the name of a movie, The Cure for Insomnia. It's pretty much just a description of what you're going to get with the movie. Alright, well, I guess we have to hand him the mushroom, right? Guess so. Uh, mushroom? Here it is. We also have two pretty flowers. Now, is... actually... Yeah, looking at the icon, that does appear to be two pretty flowers, not four. All right, so, hey, here you go. How do I give it to him? Oh, here we go. Goodness, that mushroom. That's a mushroom I couldn't find. Would it perhaps be possible for you to relinquish your mushroom? I'll, of course, repay you somehow. Sure, you can have it. I'm a nice guy. Thank you. People suffering sleepless nights will be relieved. For thanks, I'll make you a sleep potion. It is wildly effective. It will take a small while, so please come back later. Sure, not sure why I would want this. Unless there's like a guard somewhere I could put to sleep. Say that guard outside the princess's room, or the guard in the dungeon so I could let out the uh, uh, white wind. So, first things first, though. Let's see if I can get back to the throne room and meet Ella. I gotta give her my flowers. That already put me in a better standing than... Hold on, wrong way. That already put me in a better standing than any of these other fools who think that they... Like, look, those stairs are clearly going down. But we end up higher up anyway. Yay! Your Highnesses. <laughs> Boing! Let's see what we got here. Yeah. Give it to her, huh? Oh, we can't. If you want to learn more about her, speak to the castle residents. They may tell you what they won't say to me. I already have heard more about her, though. Well, in any case, 
I feel like we're no closer to accomplishing anything. I mean, I, really, the only thing I can think of to do is to go into that forest. Now, I know that that guy said not to, but why would I trust him? I'm pretty sure that's that guy who was like, yeah, I'll just marry her for her money. Snort, yeah, York up York. York up York! Raffers your borts! That's something like what he said. Anyway, you're right, you know, he might go in there and get lost because he's a scumbag. But the thing is, we won't because we have life force on our side. You know, no, light side, not life force. It's called light side. Light side is on our side. Push. Well, let's see, what are we looking for here? You! Thank you for your patience. Here's your sleep potion. Even a heavy insomniac will fall asleep immediately. Cooked in a pot, it could put everyone in the castle asleep. Please read the instructions carefully and use it correctly. That's a strange uh, suggestion you, gave, uh, you just gave us there, friend. Well, what are we gonna do? The thing is, we can't just say put everyone to sleep and then kidnap the princess. Because... That would be as bad... I mean, that'd just be terrible. You know, we respect Ella. We would never do that to her. So, what are we going to do, though? Well, first of all, we'll travel a few weeks back up into Scandinavia, and there we'll look around uh, the Nor Forest, or whatever it was called. Nor, like Norfo something. I mean, that must be, right? Yeah. I mean, it's this place I've heard so much about. Really, they couldn't spell Scandinavia correctly. So. No, I'm not gonna stop. Not gonna stop for you. I know that I've seen people who've lost their minds because they've gone in here. But I'm Ark. You don't know who I am. Who I am is Ark. Anyway, how can you get lost? There's just a straight path, clearly. Sure, there are a lot of ghost monsters. But get lost? Come on. Oh, well, there the path just forked. Oh, it's a saber dog. Wait, are these the same ones that we're, we met in Tibet? I mean, they said they used to control them with like, uh... I mean, they said they like used... It used to be they controlled the folks here with a uh, dog whistle. Oh, God. They're poison-fanged dogs. Really? Really? Okay. Well, fine. Why is it called a poison cure? Why isn't it just antidote? Well, whatever. See? Who says that people go in here and get, like, what's so scary and horrible about this forest? I mean, once again, nowhere we can go could ever be worse than Lowran. We have, we've seen the worst place in the world. What are they gonna do to us that could, like, surprise us, huh? Not much answer my own question there. Soon we might actually have a little bit of money. Not really though, we still only have two jewels. That's not enough to even buy, like, anything. So it's sure a good thing we can stay in that inn for free. Also, I think we are in a loop. So let's try heading this way. Yeah, see, here's something new. Hey. Why aren't any of these enemies dropping money? I mean, it doesn't make any sense for any enemies to drop money, really. Because, like, why would they? You know, they're animals. You wanna... See, did it just loop? Or are we in a new... I think... I think... I don't know. Are we in a new area, or are we, are we not? I don't know, but we're probably... We're beginning to run a bit low on health. Still, you can't say I'm not trying here. 
What's down here? Is this? Yeah, this is the direction we came from. Oh, shut up! I'm not like I'm not that low. Enough. Oh, see? So here's what was over here: a dead tree. Hey, would you guys knock it off? Okay, I, I'm really low on health. Actually, I should probably do something about that. You know, we're not gonna die to dogs. I mean, we, you know, we fought, like, so many other weird stuff. What's a dog in comparison to all that? Remember that, like, shape-shifting guy we fought back in the, in Tibet? Remember the legions of the dead that we fought? Remember that? This is nothing. This is just, like, you know, grim fairy tale kind of stuff. I can handle that. Huh? I mean, what's the worst that could happen? We meet some, like, king who wants to rape his daughter or something, and then there's, like, a witch. It's probably the worst sort of thing that can happen. I read a lot of those Grimm's fairy tales, you see. I would know. Are we in the same location we've already been? You know, this... No! I can't believe it. Again... Well, I mean, I guess I can, because, of course, that's what's going to happen here. They're still not as dangerous as the Rakshis were. But, you know, there are probably none of those left in the world anymore. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure we just... we're, we're looping. It's like in that movie, Looper. Are we... yeah, so this is a new area again. So we just exited through the north, I think? So what about this way? Yeah, here's something new. I think. Hey. Could you, could you, could you stop it, please? Could you please stop it? Could you please, yeah. Finally! All right, this is good. We finally have enough money to buy nothing. We can't, we stole our dirt poor. We couldn't. We can't afford anything! Anyway, um... I feel like I've exited to the north before, so... Let's try exiting in this direction. Okay! So this place does seem to have some kind of internal logic. You know, it's, it's connecting together in some kind of internally consistent manner. Still, though, I'm beginning to doubt that I'll be able to get across it, actually. I mean, I could... maybe if I drew up a map. Because, I mean, I know that Yomi isn't drawing up a map, because Yomi just thinks like, What? Be helpful? Why would I ever do that? Huh? This way? Yeah, this looks like a new area? Or, have I already been here, too? I mean, it's really, honestly, it's so hard to tell, because it's like the entire forest. Hey. Hey, the entire forest really seems to... I mean, it is following a kind of internal logic, I can tell. You know, it must be. Okay, you know what? This is the first area, this is where we started out, isn't it? Yeah, it is. You know what? I don't know how we're expected to get through there. But we'll get to it. Like, we will get through there. I really feel like this is kind of a bad idea. I mean, call me crazy. But... Don't touch the pot! It would be awful if anything was put in it. That's fine, I'll just wait till, uh... No! Okay. I see. I'm gonna have to be a bit more clever. See? I'll wait till all their backs are turned. Don't mind me. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Hey guys, hey ladies, wanna. wanna. Hi, how you doing, ladies? That's odd. I was pushing it against it the same way. 
There we go. There, dinner is ready. I'm busy now, so please leave. Yeah, I will, okay. After, like, being a pest in your palace like that. The issue is, why did I do this? I don't have any kind of plan. This is a really bad idea. Like, if they find out it was me, King will chop my head off. Well, I can at least get the white wind out of here, right? <laughs> you think they'd all be asleep, like, around the dinner table, though. So first things first, we'll open up the cell for everyone's favorite thief, the white wind. And ne man, they just fall asleep standing up, actually. That's pretty incredible. Hey, hey, white wind. For some reason, the guards all fell asleep after eating. Hey, listen, how about doing me a small favor? I want you to open this door for me using a key that the guard has. How about it? Sure, no problem. I just fetch the key the guard has, right? Absolutely! You catch on fast. Counting on you. This is one powerful sleep potion. Here it is. This must be the jail key. I'm assuming that Sprite is not to scale. It's probably a normal key in actuality. Damn, it's locked. But that's a given in jail, I guess. Boing! Well, that's because you need to take the key and equip it. Which strikes me as unnecessary. This is just like an unnecessary step. Hey, where's the key? You're not going to bail out on me now. Well, I have it. Why won't you use it? It's equipped. Oh, there we go. Here, pal. You're free. Thanks, bro. I owe you a big one. But thanks, I'll tell you where the king has hidden his treasures. Behind an object in the king's room is the door to the treasury. If you're so inclined, check it out. The treasures are yours. Okay, be seeing you. Not gonna like run out of here? I won't ever forget your favor. Well, okay. Let's go. Don't testify against us, by the way. Not that I think you would, but I mean you are a thief. Okay, we gotta get out of here. How, how incriminating do I wanna be here? Like, the thing is, I could totally take these soldiers in a fight. They don't know that. That's just because they don't realize who Ark is. And Ark's a nice guy. He wouldn't normally. They just pick fights with people. Yeah, they all fell asleep where they stood. Well. I know it wouldn't have the sleeping potion in it. Because, like, they it was already there before they cooked. So, how do we get to the king's quarters again? It's up here, right? Yeah, so it is. Do, 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 do. Wait, this is the throne room, isn't it? Oh yeah, it is. This isn't where I meant to go. Okay, um, hold on. Where was their room? Was it on the other side of the... No. Where was it? I'm trying to remember. This is the lounge I know for the hopefuls. But where's... This is bad, because time is of the essence, you know. Of course, it's of the essence to try and complete this um, competition and get the princess's hand and all that kind of stuff. No. Okay, so we're back on the first story. So that door doesn't lead to it. That door... doesn't lead to it? What the heck? Where was it? I remember. I distinctly remember they wouldn't let me in it. It wasn't the library. Gosh, this is really bad. My plan has been completely ruined because I forget. Oh, here, here we go. 
Oh wait, no, this doesn't help anything either. This is just a guest bedroom. And we're not taking a nap. You know, because we'll be suspicious because they saw us tampering around with the pot. They kept being like, hey, get away from the pot. But then they didn't do anything to stop us, did they? Okay, here we go. It's on the third floor. We had to go into that. It's like we're at the top of a tower. What? I, I'm sorry. You see, if you hit, hit forward, it also skips you through dialogue, and I was running, so... Oh, if it's not the princess. What, princess? Why are you awake? Didn't you eat? Yeah, <laughs> Ark. Looks like the princess doesn't like you. Get lost. She looks like Ella. But her personality is opposite. Yeah, she looks this way. Ergo, she must be exactly the same person. This is really kind of creepy now that I think about it. Your behavior is really sort of crossing the line, Ark. I guess we still can't really get in here, huh? Where'd the princess go? She went this way, and she went downstairs, right? I mean, so much, I guess, for getting to this hidden path to the treasury. But where is... where is Ella? Oh no, she's not gonna, like, run away, is she? She's ill. It's probably gonna get hurt, because there are all these monsters running around. Apparently, that's what we're supposed to do. But that's not the gold thing we need to move, eh? Okay, so this is the princess's room. It's very pretty pink colors, full of vases and other nice jewelry. Yep. We're dead. And there's the king. All up in his... dressed up in his jammies, yep. We are dead. We're so dead. We're... look at where we are right now. We are so dead. But this is where the... like, treasure was, right? Right? Huh? Wasn't it? Well, he said it was in the king's room. Did he mean... In here? This is so dangerous. We're gonna wake him up. But fine. Let's go kill ourselves, basically. The Tower. I mean, it's an ominous name. It makes me think of the Tower of London. Wait, this is the whole treasury? There's like nothing in here. Oh, well, whatever. What's this thing? I guess what we learned is that the country is bankrupt. Well, let's get out of here really quickly. If we get out of here, until we get out of here, I should say, I won't feel at ease. We can't push it back. Oh god, oh god. Well, you know what? He'll notice that somebody was in here and stole things anyway. And like, they'll notice that the thief is gone and they'll just assume that the white wind did it. But then again, the princess saw- But then again, the princess won't tell anyone. Cause she doesn't talk. But then what ha- what, what if Ella actually does talk for the first time? Because she's like, hey, this guy was in here and he robbed us. Can you imagine? I'd feel so betrayed. Anyway, I bet this bell is gonna help us get through the forest, right? Somehow? Probably. I mean, I don't really know how that makes any sense, but... It's a magic bell. And by the way, I hear that there was uh, something more to... Where was he? Lush Louis. Here's Lush Louise's place. If you're as hard up as me, you deserve a drink or two. Follow? You want to hear my story? Sure. You want to get something off your chest? Go ahead, I'm listening. Really? Yeah, you'll hear me out. 
this could be long, but okay. I'm all ears. Ark's a caring soul. <laughs> Thank you. I did an evil thing. I used to serve the king, but fell sick of it. The king did order it, but because of me, the villagers were killed. Just because I gave the protect bell to the king. Protect bell serves as a guide through Norfest Forest. I got that bell from someone uh, who claimed to be from Spain. If I didn't give that bell to the king, that village would have would have still be standing. Protect bell. I wonder where it went after the massacre. The king may still have it, but it's none of my business now. Oh. So there's a reason that you're a lush, huh, Lush Louis? Well, I'm sorry, man. I was thought at first he was gonna say he was one of the soldiers who carried out the massacre, but this is better. So, okay. That's what it's for. All right, sure. I bet you that um, uh, a certain somebody is gonna try and follow us through the forest because they're a cheating liar. But you know what I say to that? Well, I'm not a cheating liar. You really intend to enter the forest, child. You have spirit, at least. Be careful. It's not all fiends that live in the forest. It's an odd thing to say. Protect bell rang out. Okay, this'll help us somehow, right? I mean, for sure. I was hoping we'd get, like, some treasure. You know, I mean, this is a treasure, but, like, money. So we could buy something. Like a new silver spear. Or, say, some medium bulbs. But whatever. I'll make do with what I have. We're getting a lot of money suddenly. So, what does it mean when it rings? Does it mean we're going the right way? I guess so. Do you get, like, the gold for money? Like, do you get money for enemies that you defeat and they don't hurt you? I guess so. I mean, that's the pattern I'm certainly observing, observing, observing so far. That sounded a little different somehow. Did it, like, ring differently the last time that it rang? Or am I just mistaken? Yeah, that one hurt me and I didn't get any gold. So it's definitely get gems when enemies don't hurt you. So there's no ring here again. No, I think that's the same noise you usually hear. But this is the wrong way because I didn't hear any ringing. The issue is I think I might already be somewhere that I, like in a different place than I was last time. Yeah, I'm not hearing any more ringing bells. This is distressing. These dogs are really strong. They're stronger than the saber wolves, actually. Okay, so we're back on the right path. So it's basically still trial and error then, huh? I just guess I already assume most of the time that, like, it was randomly determined, you know, what, when, whether enemies will drop gems or not. But after that long string of and only enemies where I didn't take damage drop gems, but they drop them every time, I guess I'm beginning to think maybe there is some kind of pattern to it. So, let's try heading north then. Good. If only there was some kind of pattern between these areas, you know? That could be very helpful to us, to the cause. The cause of getting through here and solving this mystery, you know? Whoa! 
But also, yeah, that does mean the princess didn't eat, doesn't it? That she was still awake? That's a little disturbing. Is she, like, not been eating? Oh, that's no good. Well, in any case, maybe if she's living with this creep who killed her family, makes sense. I mean, all we know is she's an orphan, and that the village she came from, that the king destroyed it, so... I suppose there's really no reason not to suspect that the king is not responsible for her being an orphan, is there? Wrong way again. And this is a different area than the one we were just in, isn't it? God, I hate the poison. It's terrible. Because it never goes away, either. That's what I really... I should have been buying a bunch of uh, poison cures before I went out to the forest. Okay, fine. So this is the way to go. And then in the next area, the way to go was, um, this way, right? But north was the wrong way to go here. Let's go this way, then. Alright. So north, north, then east. But yeah, this is, their de areas are definitely sort of looping, aren't they? God, why are the enemies so... I feel like half the time I attack, but then, like, no damage is done. That's what I feel like. Now, I could be wrong. You know, it's kind of interesting to... Not, you know, these the healing items are tubers. You can imagine him just walking along like, oh, hold on, guys, I'm feeling kind of injured. Let me just eat this, like, raw radish crunch. I wish I had, a, I had like, a carrot or something right in front of me so I could... Immediately! Not even one second! It's just instantaneous! And we're almost out of cures. But how did dog- how are the dogs even poisoning him? Doesn't make sense! They have venom? Are they venomous dogs? In any case, we're at a bridge. That sounds good. Starview Bridge. Storkholm is right across the bridge. Since the bridge is out, we better find a different way. We don't have a choice but to use this animal trail. What animal trail? What are you- Whoa! What the heck? What animal trail? What are you talking about? You mean this way? I mean, this looks good enough to me, I guess. I- I guess? How do we... Oh no, we're gonna have to keep going through the forest. This is bad. We're gonna lose all our progress. But fine. There's little things that popped out, though. They were like those bubbles that we encountered back in the towers a few hundred years ago. Except they were like... I guess there were also some of those in that canyon in Africa. The issue is, though, they were... You know, th those weren't really, like... Th these ones were different, though. They were, like, brown. They weren't little fire skulls. And I, and I didn't get a good look at them, because it ha- No! Okay. No! 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 Okay. This is getting... Not good for us. Mondo not good. That could be that could be our catchphrase. Ark could take that on as a catchphrase. You know, the next time he meets like a serpent god or something, he can say like, hey, Mondo tough luck for you because you met me and I'm really strong. Oh no. If we is it like nighttime now? Have we been in the forest that long? Whoa! What the heck? Can we even... No, I don't think we can hurt whatever these things are. They're giant centipede monsters. That's a little odd. Oh, hey! What an odd number of them to get, but I'll take it. So, I guess there really are just monsters running rampant around here, huh? Still, though, um... How do I get around? 
Was this area just here for the gems? Surely. No, here we go. What? Huh? Oh. They followed us, huh? I should have known. That conniving... Well, fortunately, the monsters will probably kill him. Yeah, it's just gonna... Oh. We got toasted. Okay, I hate to use one, but we'll use the large ball. Like, we're getting a lot of money out of this, you know. We're almost back up to a thousand gems already. All I can so this is the animal trail you were talking about, huh? I gotta say, it's not quite uh, what I would have hoped from an animal trail. I didn't expect the animal trail to be full of monsters. But is it this dark because it's night or because something's wrong? I get this feeling something's trailing me. Could it be a ghost uh, spoken as rumors and lore or an animal? What about me? That's right. When it comes to Ark, nothing is scary. A ghost, a toast, a roast, bring them on. Yeah. They're not putting up any kind of fight, huh? This is not the direction I need to go, but I'm hoping maybe I can mislead him and he'll get lost and die. But so there really are ghosts in this forest. They're still way better than like what you know, I was dealing with back in the Gobi Desert. You know, not even, like, in comparison, why would it, like, this is nothing. Who even cares about all this stuff? Hey, hey, you want, wanna? Well, we took out one of them at least. And we got some treasure out of that, out of it that time. So that's good. I was hoping I could lead him astray through the forest somehow. But the fact that it's this dark, I think it is because it's nighttime and not just because we're this, like the forest is the foliage is that thick above us. But then again, it could be. I mean, this is some pretty bright light that's shining through, you know. It could just be moonlight, which is really sunlight, but it's just reflected off the moon. Okay. No, we're not using it. We're just going to go back to the old standby of medium bulbs. Really, at this point, why do we even buy small bulbs anymore? I bought them before because, like, I knew that it's probably cheaper if they were all medium bulbs. But the thing is that um, I thought that, like, I can only carry so many medium bulbs, but this is just extra healing stuff I can carry with me. And I still think that way. Hey, want to come back? He does! Money has become precious again because of the dear cost of this armor I wear, man. So, uh, now what? I saw something down here. I guess I didn't. Thought I saw something down there. Nah, uh, anything... Yeah, I didn't think there was anything up here, but it was worth a look. Okay, um, you're not who I thought was following me. Ah, it was scary. Maylene, what are you doing here? Hehehe, <laughs> I was just bored. Hey, Ark, you're really strong. You're going to Storkholm that's supposed to be in this forest, right? I'll go with you. I promise I won't get in your way. Well, okay, Maylene. You followed me through the desert? From Tibet? Okay, sure. I'm up for having a friend. Don't worry, kid. Man, I'm sorry about all the negative feelings I, I had. I thought you were that, that suitor. 
Now, I mean, I feel like suitors get an unfairly bad rap. I mean, what with, uh... Hey. Hey, could you... There. There we go. Wait, hold on. That, like... Was that Maylene who was taking damage? Oh, wait a minute. Forget it, then. Let's just get out of here. It's not worth, like, risking her life. Hey, hey. You know, I hear you have some good psychic powers, right? That could be a really valuable asset on our journey. Hmm? What's that down there? Is that Majora? Oh, no, that's just the tip of a tree. Oh, I see. We're on the other side of that path we could see earlier. Well, that was a bit of a detour. Hey. Unfortunately, it didn't really help us, did it? Um... So, Maylene, I know that you've been taking some damage here, and I want to apologize. But, you know, I didn't ask you to come along. Still, now that you're here, I'll make the most of it. I was getting a bit lonely out here. I'd never been that interested in French things, so... To just be surrounded by a bunch... No! Okay. It's not worth fighting it. Now that I know- now that I know that you're here also! Okay. Let's not stop running, kid. You're keeping up pretty good. I mean, you're shadowing me. That's pretty normal. Not- not really. But I mean, it's normal for when this game was made. That's what video game characters did. It was part of the genre. Hey. I know that those bubbles are about to attack us, okay? But I gotta not be poisoned. We're out of poison cures. There better be some kind of shop on the other side of this desolate wilderness where everybody's dead. What is, you know, Maylene, what is it with you and just hanging out where people are dead? Like, first your village was destroyed, now you're following me to the ruins of a village that was also completely killed. Everybody down to the last man, woman, and child except for Ella. Hey, you guys wanna... Is looking for a fight? Yeah, I guess they were. This forest never ends. Yomi, where are we? Are we almost out of this damn forest? Come on! Oh god, this forest is enormous! It's enormous! We're gonna be out of healing items! What do we, like, what can we... RUN! Why is it that easier? Oh, here we go. Oh, five meters. About... TIME! Is all I can say. What is this? Oh my god! This looks identical to the village I came from. What's the matter? You started running all of a sudden. This looks identical to my village. This can't be. Rural villages often look alike. Isn't it just coincidence? It doesn't just look close. This is what you call identical. You don't have to shout. Come to think of it, I don't know anything about you, Ark. It's a pack of wolves! Ark, they're after us! What'll we do? One false move and they'll tear our throats out. What to do? Beat a hasty retreat? Run! What the hell? Ark! Do something! Ark! Huh? We're a lot. What? How does this work? Huh? Oh, great. Let me guess. Somewhere back in this terrible forest, right, is the dog whistle, huh? Is that what I'm supposed to take away from this? God, this better be it. 
No! No, it's not! I mean, don't get me wrong, it's still something that's gonna save our lives. But... Okay. This... We, we can't pick fights. We're gonna lose any fights we pick. What we gotta do instead is... No! No! The damn dogs! They're what make this so dangerous. If it weren't for them, this would be nothing! You know, those demon dogs in Tibet were nothing in comparison with just normal dogs, apparently. Right? Because that's what these are. <sighs> okay, so... Nothing? It's like nothing this way? No, I thought it was further back. I did. I was right. No! The, everything's like... They shoot through everything! And the dogs will poison you! <sighs> no, this way. Quick, go this way. Good job, kid. I'm sorry to... I have to drag you along on this. What? No! I don't want the... Well, I mean, I'll take it since I'm here. I mean, I already took it. But, hey. Wanna... About done? Yeah? Yeah. I really wish there was a map! Wish... There... It's over! It's over! I have to do all that crap again? Well, I guess Malian's dead. Life Force isn't looking out- or Light Force isn't looking out for her, the stupid Light Force. This is all its fault. Alright. What we need are a lot of these. How many can I carry? Nine? I'll take all of them. I'll take as all of them I can carry. And you, what do you have in terms of armor, weapons? I still don't have enough for the silver pike. The question is, is the bronze pike worth it? I'm gonna say no. Do I have a more powerful weapon I'm just not aware of? I don't think so. Neofang, Light Rod, Raw Spear. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're all significantly weaker than this one. Yeah, they're all completely weaker. <sighs> and I don't have enough. I could buy the Bronze Spear, but I'm gonna say I'm not doing that. Our rival suitor is no longer here, though. What the? Oh, Maylene, you were waiting for me. I'm glad you're okay, kid. Well, don't worry about that. You see, I have this weird agreement with God. Because, you know, you're right, you don't know very much about me. But don't worry. Trust me, I know that you normally shouldn't trust skeezy guys who are kind of jerks and who, you know, steal things and never die. And even when they, like, have fatal wounds, they just disappear and reappear elsewhere. But trust me, I'm fine. You know, I'm a good kind of immortal. I'm on your side. No! I wish that you didn't have to tap it twice to run. I wish I could just hold down a button and it, if he could do that, I could s it like wouldn't be this big of a pain to dodge all the stupid dogs. Wrong way. You know, I, I'm beginning to see that maybe there are places that can be worse than Lower Ran. Okay. I mean, this really isn't worse, but it certainly is more unpleasant. Well, actually, it's not even that, really. It's more like a tedious chore than it is like, you know, I'm in hell. Then again, I have a feeling that tedious chores are just what you have to do in hell. Yeah, this is right where we were when we found you, kid. So according to the... So... I think... I think the walkthrough said to head right from here. And we'd find the dog whistle. No! Ark, face the other way, you moron! God, just, no! Just, just get, get out of the... Get out of the way! No! Get... Piss... Piss off the lot of you!
Okay. So where is this treasure chest walk through? He said it was follow the path to the right in the area. After he says that... After he gets paranoid, wonders if someone's following him. Isn't that this? This is that area, isn't it? Are you telling me it's not? Tell me I misread the walkthrough. I'm going to pause because I don't. There's going to be like five fireballs coming from all freaking directions at him. So, like, what, like here, let's see, where is it from the walkthrough? Um, where is this? So, yeah, wait one second. Something's following you from here. So, yeah, walk along the path until Art gets paranoid. Then proceed one screen from here. Head right and follow the path to get the dog whistle. Oh, wait, no. Apparently, I was wrong. He got paranoid in the area before this. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is like the worst thing that could happen. Oh, God. So, fine, we'll get through this maze again. Hey, hey, hey! No! Just run. Run! No, don't walk! Run! You idiot! Okay, Ark, you're such an idiot! I hate you! I know, I've tried to sympathize with you, being like a smart aleck and lazy and like a thief and all this other crap. But it's getting pretty old, kid. Okay. Why is Maylene affected by the lighting, but not Ark? How does this make sense? So, it was towards the end of this area, right? That's where... No. Was this? Hold on, let me... Where was he? No, this is not where he got paranoid. When he got paranoid, he was like, heading... heading south. Okay, so it's the war- it's like the weird- the- the, like, centipede things diving out of the logs. And then, we're in this area. And then we proceed from here. And then we head right. So, it was actually in this area where I initially thought it was, I just misunderstood. How can I head right here? If I head right! I'll hardly be in this- uh, Huh? Oh no. Oh no. Well, we use the large ball, but it's the only one left. This is it. This is the most desperate situation we've ever been in. Hey, hey, you guys wanna... wanna fight? Oh, God. There it is! Hey. Bubbles! Bubbles aren't interested in, in, in hanging out today. Okay, good. We got the dog whistle. <sighs> Let's equip it. Oh, but we're not going to be able to just play it and drive away the dog enemies, huh? That's how you want to be? <sighs> okay. We'll do it the most inconvenient, annoying, asinine way possible. That's fine. You know, excuse me for this thing in this place was like, a maze! And maybe when I found the, the path that let me out, I should just take it! So sorry! You know, that they, they... Whatever. They drop money, that doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any more sense when they drop health items. So you've already doubled, gone in one way, not making sense. Why not go all the way? All the way into nonsense, huh? Because I don't know why either. Come on, where's the village? Where's that sign that says, like, you're a meter away from it? Here it is. And you did it, Ark! The wolves are leaving! 
Okay, so the vil the village the king wanted destroyed is the here's Mailing, this is our house. Wait, this is Ella's house here, huh? See this door? That was a door where bad things lived. Okay? But also things like life itself. Like, on the one hand, a portrait? Huh? A portrait of Princess Ella's family. I feel a bit jealous. They look so happy. Ella doesn't look like the princess now. Listen, Ark. I can make these two people appear in front of Ella. Ark, you saw them in Lowran, right? The mirages I created. If I show her her parents, maybe the princess will be cheered up. But that's only if you, Ark, don't plan to get married to her. Why? Oh, are you impl Oh, do you have a crush on me? Look, kid, you shouldn't be hanging out with Ark. Don't... I'm not interested in that way. I mean, like, you're a cute kid, but, you know, for one thing, I mean, you're, like, what, 15? And also, for another thing, Ark is, like... I mean, at this point, I'm gonna guess he's might be... He's at least... I'd say he's 500 years old, maybe. Maybe thousands of years old. So... Oh, God, it's my bed! So why is Move staying out of here, though, kid? That's just plain respectful. In fact, do I want to spend the night... I want to look around the... Actually, I'm going to spend the night here, because I go out there, those wolves are going to, the dogs are going to maul us. Oh, I can't sleep. Great. But you have no idea. You know, this is just like our house used to be. But anyway, but when we open Pandora's box, kid, they even have the same pot. They have the same apples on the table. <sighs> but back when, um, I, but when, when we opened Pandora's box, we let out all the evil... But we also sort of let out the life in the world, you know? There was nothing here before that. It was just wasteland. The door appears broken and will not open. So, on the one hand, there is suffering in the world now. But on the other hand, there's like a world at all. It's as if that we have to sort of leave Eden in order to have knowledge. Er, oh god. Gonna leave me alone? Okay. Yeah, they're gonna leave me alone. Okay. I figure we can't get in any of these places, huh? Okay. Dogs. Don't worry, dogs. Wow. You know, they're suddenly almost like good dogs. Almost. But anyway, here's the house where our Ella lived. This was the Weaver's Cottage. I wonder how Ella is doing. Ark, what's the matter? I was just thinking about how I left my village. Ark, you have many memories of places I don't know at all. But, but, I have my own memories that you don't know, Ark. Wouldn't you like to know some? Maylene, let's hear them slowly some other time, okay? You always smoothly drop the subject. What is going on here? Yeah, we can't get into any of the other buildings in town. Except maybe the immortal, undying shopkeeper. No, him too. When our whole village was turned to ice, I thought that was the worst that could happen. But now, I don't even know what's going on. Anyway, you're right, Ark. Now is not the time to talk about our memories. What do you think? Do you want to go back? Let me think. Yeah, I mean, what else is there here? Then let's meet at the castle. Don't forget to bring the portrait before your interview. Ark. Ark and Maylene. 
parted at the forest's entrance. In any case, I mean, it really does sort of make you wonder. I, we've been through, we've been through so many places, you know, and Ella's got to be dead by now, but Storkholm is Krista. But anyway, that really wasn't the time to talk about our memories. It really wasn't. You know, the whole place was... It just wouldn't make sense, you know? We, we were in a dangerous situation. You never know when those dogs are gonna pounce on you. Maybe my, like, lifelong phobia of dogs is really sort of coming through right now. I don't know. I'd like to think it's just because those are the most deadly monsters ever. There's nothing more deadly. The issue is, I'm always buying so many healing items, I don't have enough money for that new spear. Well, whatever. Why don't we buy a sword? We saw that swordsmith guy, he was just taking out a sword just there. Well, whatever. Hey, do you have any new fortunes for us, Jewish fortune teller? Hehehe. <laughs> All is in the stars. Let me read your fortune. No, oh, it's the same nonsense as before. A whistle for luck. Well, I guess her fortune came true. It really does make sense now. In any case, I think at this point we have really, really earned a nap. If anyone in the world deserves a nap, it's it's a dog! No, I gotta calm down. It's just a normal, friendly dog. Not a saber dog. Thanks, thanks. I wanted to tell somebody for so long, but nobody would listen to a rummy like me. You're a good guy. I try. Thanks. Now what am I thanking you for? I mean, you're thanking me. Well, let's just let everybody thank everybody for all the things we owe each other and the world will be a better place. I see everyone's awake now. Maybe we should have, uh, hidden that bell somewhere so that if the King's Guards search us, they won't suspect us. Anyway, um... Mayriel said to meet her outside the castle, right? Where is she exactly? Well, whatever, we still have that portrait, right? Yeah, here it is. I have to say, making her dead parents appear in front of her does not strike me as a terribly good idea. In fact, it strikes me as a sort of really nasty thing to do to her. I mean, Mayriel, imagine if somebody did that to you, other than yourself. <laughs> yeah, other folks don't seem to remember the uh, sleeping incident. Or they do, but they're probably not talking about it because they're all embarrassed. And nobody wants to take responsibility, so... Well, whatever. We just need to get up in that one tower, right? Or I guess we... No, hold on. We don't need to go up into that tower where they live because... What? No, there you are. Oh, it's you. Huff! <laughs> what do you mean by that? That's so rude of you! <laughs> you have the interview soon, right? Ark, you don't have to do anything. Oh, hey, I'll take that portrait. I have to remember those two faces. Are you sure it's okay? I don't know what you're up to, but be careful. Leave it to me. You better go, too. See, the thing is... Why don't you know what she's up to? She told you. Well, whatever, Ark. Ark's the kind of guy who often wouldn't pay attention to people around him anyway. So you have found the cure for the princess's problem. Report to the king at once. 
Your Highness? Anyway, Kingy, or I mean, your royal majesty, um, I hope this works. So you found the means of curing the princess's problem. Then let us not waste time. Cure the princess at once. What is this? What's happening? Ella. Ella. Impossible. This can't be happening. They died years ago. Not just them, everyone in this village. The lone survivor was this child, Ella. I know! I had them all killed! Princess Ella, are you all right? Snap out of it. Er, uh, it appears the princess is not well today. Today's interviews are canceled. You, you wait at the inn. Anyone, have this clown thrown out of here at once. Hehehe. <laughs> It looks like things went well, but something looked odd. The king went totally pale. It's something in that girl's past. Did it really go well? I got chased out of there. No problem. Let's rest at the inn. I'm hungry. Yeah, we can get some free grub. Oh, God. <laughs> 